Hi friends, I am Jijo Ibrahim. Today we are going to discuss about the common questions asked during an interview. First of all, we need to see that what are the preparations we need to do before an interview. First of all, you have to pacify yourself. Make sure that you are calm down. So, at the same time, you need to understand one more thing. You are not the first person and you are not the only person to be nervous during an interview. It's quite natural to be nervous. So, how big the company is or how big the firm is, that much nervous you would be. It is quite natural. So, first of all, take uh, the sort of uh, breathing exercise that you might have heard that uh, count up to one, two and three. Count up to three, then breathe in slowly. The same way you have to exhale it out, you have to breathe out. And uh, may uh, you can just uh, do it uh, once or twice. And uh, after that, you have to just enter into the room. So when you enter into the room, by the time you have to keep uh, a smile on your face, it's better. That shows that uh, you are a bit confident. So the same confidence should be there in your walk. So when you walk, by the time, take your make your head straight and uh, just walk and ask uh, take permission and uh, get inside the room and when you sit down by the time the third phase comes the posture so you should uh, make sure that your back is straight because that will help you to get uh, the sufficient uh, blood circulation otherwise after the first phase that uh, uh, the interviewer would be in the, in the same condition the same mood but you may be a bit lethargic so keep the enthusiasm till the end and the third, fourth one is your eye contact. When you talk with the person, make sure that you are talking uh, with the person by keeping the proper eye contact. Then another one, when you are uh, just entering into and uh, reaching into the room by the time, giving the handshake, give a firm handshake. Don't uh, make your hands really loose over there. So that shows that you are least confident. So give a firm hand, handshake. And uh, at the end, be really confident. Make your, uh, yourself uh, that uh, feel that you are confident. Otherwise, tell yourself that, yes, all is right or all is well. So everything is going to be fine and uh, you have to be fine. And this is the thing. You tell yourself and make yourself uh, and uh, try to bring yourself into the confidence. And this is the only way that you can be confident during an interview. Now, let's go with the questions that are usually asked over there. First one, tell me a little about yourself. So, this is the portion that we have done with the previous uh, video. So, you can just refer that there we have discussed everything that uh, each and every particular sentence that we need to tell or how to introduce ourselves. This is the first one. The, after the self-introduction, the second question may be, how did you hear about the position? So that how could you know about that, uh, how could you know that uh, there was a position uh, in this particular firm? I found an advertisement about the job on the internet. Otherwise, I found an advertisement about the job uh, in the uh, uh, Dash newspaper. So that particular paper's name or the internet, that can be simply said over there. The second, third one, then why are you interested in this position? I think I'm good fit for the company and its goals. So whenever you just answer, by the time, don't try to say from your perspective, but try to include the company or the firm that you are about to join. So that will appeal, that will give more uh, chances for you while you just uh, face the interview. I think I'm good fit for the company as well as uh, its goals. Then next one. Why should we hire you? The next question that may be asked. I am a goal-oriented person who likes to work at a fast pace. So by the time you just, when you give the positive answer, by the time you tell that this particular firm, this particular company is also uh, encouraging the people who like to work fast uh, or, or, a, uh, or to work uh, with a good pace, good pace or even for, uh, uh, that uh, faster worker. So, this is the thing that you need to communicate. Fifth one, what do you consider your strengths and weakness? By the time, don't uh, make any blah blahs over there. But at the same time, the sentence 
that should be uh, when tense that should be uh, when you make a particular sentence at the same time the listener should uh, feel that it is positive it has a positive as well as negative aspect at the same time don't tell any negative aspects over there i am very detail oriented but i often take on too much at uh, one time that means uh, it is uh, that particular sentence is a bit uh, made uh, personal actually the thing is that uh, i talk too much i talk uh, with people so this is that's why i have just created such a sentence that i am very detail oriented so i cannot say that uh, i talk too much but at the same time or uh, i don't uh, uh, when i just watch movies i watch uh, movies a lot so don't tell uh, such kind of things over there so by the time you can say that i am detail oriented that means uh, either by the time you have just given a positive attitude that when a particular work is given you will just go with the depth of that particular work and you will do everything possible for that this is the positive thing that you have communicated at the same time you have communicated one more thing that that's why you need a bit time when a particular work is assigned on you so that's why later on they won't complain on you so this is the thing but i often take on too much uh, at uh, at one time then 61 tell me about a time when you overcome a challenge at work so that uh, the particular real uh, thing that you have faced in your life it is to be stated so but at the same day even though you don't have you can just say the same following sentence when i was having trouble communicating with a client i reached out to a coworker for support so otherwise you can say that when i was having trouble uh, in dealing a particular issue i reached out to the manager a chair manager for support so with the help of him or her we could resolve the same by the time you should never say that i could resolve the same but better say that we could so as the same will give a hint that you believe in teamwork so usually we give the same that we believe in teamwork at the same time uh, when during the interview we may forget that but we orient upon i i and i but instead we have to just focus that we then next one seventh one what are your career goals I want to create a global advertising campaign strategy or I want to create a, a particular dash the, uh, sorry a dash uh, strategy something like that so that is uh, purely related to your particular work sort of work that you are doing next one where do you see yourself in 5 years this question is about your expectation so what do you expect from the company at the same time whether you would be there in the same firm after 5 years this is what the thing but they usually ask indirectly then the answer is i see myself in the managerial position in this company working on multiple projects for multiple markets at the same time you have communicated that i just want to be the manager and another thing that i will be working in this particular firm if i am just given the chance and moreover and i will be able to just go with the managerial position so your desire your aspiration as well as your caliber all these things can be set together then why do you want to work here this is another common question i think there is a lot to learn and i think there are opportunities for promotion so this is the simple thing then i need to learn something and moreover there are opportunities for promotion that's why i have uh, decided to choose this company the last question do you have any questions for me by the time don't ask any rubbish question that what would be my salary and something like that or how would uh, you pay whether you would be paying my salary on every first or every fifth or before every fifth or before every tenth something like that don't ask uh, such kind of rubbish questions over there by the time you can just uh, give a positive question what do you think is the most rewarding part about working here so that means if i work here what would be the most uh, rewarding things for me so there you have include, included all the things that means getting a salary on time as well as uh, getting incentives and uh, getting appreciation awards and so on so all these things have done together with a single question by the time by listening such question that uh, the interviewer also would be really happy to give you job 
Thank you for watching this one and we will continue. We will just give some more questions and some more other uh, tips for interview in the next video. I would like to wish you an awesome day. Thanks for watching this. Please share, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.